It is possible that someone could be tracking your Android phone without you knowing about it. So in this video I'm going to cover all the steps you need to go through to make sure that no one is tracking your phone. So let's get into it. Just scroll down from the top of your Android phone and then select the settings button. Then scroll down to location. First of all, just check there's no strange apps in the app location permissions. So you'll see here I've got three apps that are in allowed all the time. You want to check that any apps in the allowed all the time for location are things that you recognise and which should have a legitimate reason for being there. Both Google and Maps can inside them have options that allow others to track you. So you can switch that off and you can prevent them from accessing your location at all if you need to. If someone has your account details then they will be able to use the Google or the map settings to track your location. So let's back out of this and then choose location services and then go to Google location sharing. In the people section you should have only people you recognize. These people will be able to see where you are from Google location sharing. So if you don't want them to see that you can press the stop button. You should also make sure you have location sharing notifications switched on so you'll be notified if anyone adds themselves to your account without you knowing. So let's back out of this and then go to timeline in location services. First of all check that any of the accounts shown are ones that you own or are a part of. If there's any unknown accounts here then you should remove them. But if these are all your accounts showing then just go through each of them in turn. You see there is this location history option which is switched on so you can either switch this off or if you just put the if you just press the arrow on devices on this account you'll see all the devices that are able to access location history for this Google account so in this case we've got this device here and we've got another phone that I own if there are any devices you don't recognize on this list then you can just uncheck them to remove location history from those devices. Now if we back out of this and go back to the main settings menu, and then go down to security and privacy. First of all you need to check for any alerts that are coming up saying account may be at risk. In this case I've got a mail forwarding set up for one of my email addresses and this lets me know which email address is having mail automatically forwarded. If you didn't set this up yourself then you can use the take action button to switch it off. Otherwise all mail sent to this address will be forwarded to another address without you knowing about it. If you then scroll down and check the device unlock, you should just check that all of these device unlock methods are ones that you recognize. So if you've got a pin set up it should say pin and then under fingerprint and face unlock it says two fingerprints added which are both my own. Make sure that any fingerprints and face scans you've got here are your own. So if you've added only one fingerprint but it's showing two fingerprints here then you know that someone else has added their fingerprint to unlock your phone at some point. Let's back out of this and then go to account security and then we can just go to password checkup and that will just check that your passwords have not been compromised for your Google account 
this just checks a, a database of all hacked accounts and ones that have been publicly released and that will just make sure that your Google account details are not online somewhere. You can then back out and go down to device finders and then unknown tracker alerts. Just check that allow alerts is switched on and that there are no tracker alerts showing. You can also do a manual scan just to make sure there's no Bluetooth trackers anywhere near you that are not connected to any of your devices. So if someone has put a tracker near you, that it won't be connected to your phone and it will show up here as an unknown tracker. You should also note that the Find My Device service can be used by anyone who has your Google account logins. So if Find My Device is on, which is a useful feature, if you know that someone has your logins, they will be able to go to the web or use the app and they will be able to find this device. So let's back out and go down to privacy. And then you'll see here apps that have background location access, so maps, which we've already looked at. If you then press the C recent location usage, and then in the top right, use the three dots and select show system. It will show you all of the services which have access to your location and when they've accessed it. So you shouldn't see anything in here that is unexpected. You'll see Google Play services, maps, settings, Google location history, this IMS service that you keep seeing is an Android service that supports calling over Wi-Fi when you have poor signal and is just a, a background service that should not cause any issues. But if you see any unusual apps in here and if they're regularly um, and if they're regularly using the location then you might want to think about removing them. One final check. If you go back to the main settings menu and then system. If you scroll down there's a multiple users and just check that there's only you who is a signed user for this device. But if you've done all those checks and if you just checked that there's no unusual apps on your phone, then you can be pretty confident that no one is tracking you.